This evening, I had my own temper tantrum at someone that I barely know. And honestly, I was so offended by the experience, I felt righteous in my reproach. You see, I was pretty pissed off that I had been communicating clearly by my body language, by my departure, by everything that I was doing, that I was not interested in having a conversation at that time. I was not open for business at 10 or 11 in the evening as I'm walking and I'm planning what I'm about to be talking about. I'm scripting. I'm busy in my mind. I'm doing my work in the middle of the night. I don't want to be a jerk, but I don't like it when people do not abide the signs. I don't like it when people try to keep going and try to keep pushing and try to keep doing. And maybe if it had been a different time of day, maybe it had had been handled in a different way, then I would have been fine with it. But what I saw was an abuse and a lie. And I don't need to be abused any further, and I don't like to be lied to. But what I'm saying is, you have to pay attention to people's body language and their departures. If they see you coming and they go another way, it sort of means they're not able to handle you at that time of day. It may not be you at all. It may just be that there's other things going on, like a dying parent or difficulties in life that they just don't have the time or energy to deal with a new situation. It's important that people recognize those things. It's also important that people stop playing games with people's lives because at some point it's going to bite you in the ass and probably what's going to end up happening is that people will end up in great difficulty who do that. 